A HoneyBook invoice is a file that includes a list of services, prices, and a payment schedule without including a contract. When your client receives an invoice, they'll be able to review your line items and seamlessly make their payments online. To send an invoice, like with any other file in HoneyBook, you'll need to start with a project. You can navigate to an existing project or create a new one by clicking the New button, then New Project. In this video, we'll just start with a new project. Enter the project title and type and fill in any other project details that you have. Click Next. Then, the system will have you add a participant to the project. The participant is the contact who receives all the files and other communication you send through HoneyBook, so this will likely be your client. Once you've filled in all the contact info that you have, click Add. Now that you've created your project, you can create your invoice. Click on New File and select Invoice. You can choose to start fresh with a blank invoice, work off of a recently used invoice, or start with an invoice template that you've created in advance. Just remember that if you start with a recent invoice or a template, you can feel free to edit away. The original files won't be affected. In this video though, we'll start from scratch with a blank invoice. Now, start customizing. In your header, you can change your file name, header title and subtitle, background image, and your company logo. Just make it feel like you. Then you can start adding the services your client is booking you for. Begin by clicking Add New Item. If you've already built out some package templates, collections of items grouped together, you can choose those here. Or pick from a list of recently used items. You can also create a brand new item just by typing in the name, clicking the Add button, and editing the details. Whether you're adding existing items or creating brand new ones, everything you see here is customizable. Add images, rename items, edit descriptions, update the quantities or units if those are relevant, and of course, change the prices. Items can be dragged and dropped using the six dot icon or deleted with the trash can. And you can also check the tax box on specific items if you need. Once your list of services is complete, scroll down to the totals section. Here's where you can provide a discount or click on the tax rate field to adjust that amount. Everything will automatically recalculate in the new grand total. Now, scroll on down to the Payment Plan section, because this is where you edit your payment schedule. Click Add Another Payment to build your plan out further, or the trash can icon to remove one. Within each payment, you can feel free to adjust the amounts by dividing the payment equally, by percentages, or by choosing a custom amount for each. You can also choose when the payment should occur, using dates like the invoice or project date, a fixed date or a midway point, or a custom date of your choice, which you can select to have HoneyBook automatically calculate due dates based on the date of your project or invoice. Also remember that to save yourself time in the future, you can always save the payment schedule you create as a payment template. Then you can just insert it onto invoices in the future. You can also click the File Drawer tab to edit your payment options further. You can allow your clients to add gratuity, choose how they can make their payment, turn auto pay on or off, and set a date for the file to expire. When you're ready, click Review Email. Here's where you can customize the email that will go out to your client. You can update the email that auto-populates, or choose from your list of email templates. You can also insert hyperlinks and your email signature if you've saved one. The invoice you just created will automatically be attached, but you can also include more files or images if you'd like. Click Send, and that's it! Your invoice will be on its way to your client, and they can easily review and start submitting their payments.